Hi, my name is Matthew Gausdial, and I thought I'd do a brief video today on some updates of this intelligent level editor that we've been working on for a bit. Um, now, the cool thing about this level editor is in the background, there's a level design partner. Uh, so this AI is sort of helping you with your level design. As you saw, it sort of gave me a little bit of the roof there, and I filled in the rest. Now, the cool thing about this level design partner is that it makes use of active learning. Um, which means that it is actively sort of taking my implicit feedback, uh, positive reward for things I keep that it adds, negative reward for things I remove, like this stair block. Uh, <laughs> um, and what I'm trying to get it to do right now is to sort of learn to, to replicate this little sort of island pattern uh, with the two stairs on either side and the pipe in the middle. So I finished putting that together. Uh, and I'll go ahead and add some plants, uh, these sort of piranha plants on top. All right, so, so that was not good. So I give it some negative reward by deleting it uh, and try adding another little island here. See if it can finish it for me. So closer, right, <laughs> it added some ground and some stairs and some piranha plant or a piranha plant. So it's getting the idea, uh, but it doesn't quite get what I'm trying to do right now. So let's try this one more time. I'll sort of correct this a little bit, uh, add in these stair blocks. And since it seems interested in adding a ground, let's maybe give it a little bit of extra. Uh, no, so not quite there. But let's see if we can prime it over here. Like, no, I want stuff here. Okay, so it's sort of got it. Um, now this is close enough to what I was going for that maybe I'm okay with this. This is a somewhat artificial sort of experience here. Uh, of if I was an actual level designer, I probably wouldn't just be replicating the same pattern over and over again, but that's fine. Um, now at this point, I'm thinking, uh, what if I make a, a sort of little island uh, with a check mark after all of these enemies you potentially have to go through? I want to make sure Mario can actually jump over that. And let's see what it does. All right, so you're seeing here a sort of fallback of the current approach, uh, which is that unfortunately it, it's trying to reuse this pattern in a place I really don't want it to. So I remove that, which gives it this negative reward saying I don't actually want that. But I do like this idea of a, of a second question mark block. Um, and I go ahead and extend this so that Mario could potentially reach up to the sort of upper roof area up there, which is a fun thing for underground light levels. So once again, it's using the same pattern that I don't want it to use, give it that negative feedback. Uh, we're finding that it usually takes a few examples uh, for the, the agent to really catch on to what we're trying to do. I like this little ground bit over here, but I'm not quite sure what to do with it. Uh, what I might do is make a, a slightly taller pipe, sort of mix things up a little bit. Add a Koopa. All right, now you can see that the agent's sort of attempting to mix these like two patterns that I've set up for it so far. Um, I don't hate the smaller pipe there, um, so we can keep that, delete everything else. Maybe we'll try to create some symmetry here, go with what the AI was thinking. And some piranha plants just to, to fit the theme from earlier. And we'll fill this area with coins, so hopefully uh, the player wants to stick around, even with a, a Koopa shell, which could potentially be dangerous. We'll switch that out for a red, two, uh, two red Koopas, uh, just to make this more interesting. Okay. Now, I don't hate this, this, like, uh, two bricks with a with a, a piranha or a, a pipe um, in between uh, at a piranha plant. Notably, we'd never seen a structure like that, so that was just sort of a an interesting invention by the AI, a sort of combination of the two sort of patterns we had going on earlier. All right, so decided to go ahead and we'll just finish out this level. Uh, put a, a flag there at the end signify the level end, 
And way to start, we can place a little Mario to signify, okay, this is where uh, the player will start. Uh, I haven't made use of these sort of floating bars at all, but they're very common in these sort of underground-like levels, so why not make use of those? Unfortunately, this AI loves to fill in gaps, <laughs> uh, but we can correct that pretty easily. All right. Go ahead and give that piranha plant a home. And maybe let's keep this, uh, this pipe thing going. So we get sort of steadily higher and higher up with these pipes all the way up until the end. Okay, make a nice gap. Uh, and then it would suck to get stuck in between these pipes, so we can delete these as well. All right. <laughs> well, not as much filling of the gaps, but a little bit. It's, it's getting there. Let's clear this stuff out. And make sure we can actually make the jump. All right. <laughs> Seems like our AI is sort of running out of room. Let's give it one more shot. All right. Let's add in these piranha plants here. It wasn't a terrible suggestion, but not with what we were going. <laughs> I really like that suggestion, though. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do like the idea of adding something here, just, you know, in case. And we can end this session. Now, if we start up a second round, I have to add an ID here. This is just for logging purposes. It's not important. Maybe go with uh, test. <laughs> Testy test, yeah, yeah, that's good. All right, so let's start a new level. And again, this one be a little bit different. Let's make sure that we're above ground as last time we were sort of below ground. Add some clouds. Now, notably, this is the same AI as last time, so it still has all of the same sort of knowledge it gathered about me uh, as a partner uh, that it had last time. <laughs> all right. uh, yeah, okay. Now I'll make a little bit of taller castle. And put a Mario starting place. Okay, let's extend this initial level a little bit more. We're really mixing things up, different heights, let's see what it does. Okay, so it's still thinking, oh, we're stuck in that, that last level, huh? No, not quite. We're not still in that last level. We're not making an underground level. Let's see how long it takes it for, uh, for it to recognize what we're doing here. Make a nice big column. Uh, I like the idea of a pipe though, so let's, let's add a pipe. And a prawn plant, why not? Add some more decoration, just to really lay it in, like, no, we're above ground now. More clouds. And let's see what it does. Okay. Now this is pretty interesting. Uh, you can see the similarities here to, to what we had last time. 
um, but it's reusing it in a kind of interesting place. Um, I kind of like the idea of these sort of pipes just stretching up into the sky. Yeah, so we don't even need this ground. So the AI has managed to predict this thing that, that I actually quite like, based <laughs> entirely on things that I've done before. So maybe I'm a little narcissistic there. All right. Let's see what the AI does with that. got so excited that we liked this addition. It's like, oh, more tall pipes. How about that? You note that uh, treetop piece hanging in the sky. We hadn't used that before. The AI is actually initially trained uh, from an initial user study we did with 84 um, sort of amateur level designers. So it does have some, some initial knowledge of level design besides what it gleans from interacting with me. So it does occasionally suggest things that I had never shown it. I do like the high uh, pipes thing going on. Just need to clean that up a little bit and make it new, add some coins. Huh, some of this I like. Not the ground, not the front of plant floating. The AI doesn't really have a sense of floating things uh, or things not being connected to anything. It only reasons really hyper-locally. I do like sort of the extending this ground bed and then maybe making like a bridge though off that. So it did inspire me in a way. Thinking about this hill. Yeah, all right. Have another one. Get some symmetry in there. And some more clouds. Gotta have clouds. Okay. So it's, it picked up on the bridge thing a little bit. Uh, but there's also a lot of noise in here, so let's clean that out. I don't hate the coins. Definitely have more coins. And I kind of like the idea of another sort of tall pipe structure here. Yeah, we can move that, that piranha plant into the pipe. There we go as God intended. <laughs> okay, change it up with the trees, put some enemies on here maybe. They'll fall down when the level starts. More clouds. So again, some of this is good. It's giving me a sort of outline of, of reasonable structure with just a bit of noise. Keep this bridge going. Um, yeah, not the pipes this time. Clear out that. Finish out this column. And yeah, sure, more, more coins, why not? Let's add a uh, question mark box, so a power up box. Or two, why not? And some more enemies. All right, let's see what it thinks. Okay, more coins, got the, got the cloud. Again, another outline of a bridge. Um, but at this point, we've reached the end of the level. 
let's figure out where this flag should go. Now, how do we make this make sense? Uh, yeah, we finish out this bridge maybe, put the column there, and then just another little column for the bridge and the, the flag. And a tree. Okay. No ideas, huh? Put in some clouds, save our level, and that seems good.